Hello, welcome to today's first installment of the Driver's Ed Guy. A lot of times I'm asked the question, what do I do when I get pulled over? Well, the easiest and best solutions are the simplest, okay? First of all, number one, I would find a safe place to pull over to start with. Uh, if you're at a country road or something that's not well lit, uh, I would immediately put on my flashers and slow down considerably. And uh, that's the way the police officer knows that you you see him and that you're trying to find a safe place to pull over. The second thing I would do is I would always keep my hands on the steering wheel. Especially at 10 and 2. If you can visually... Picture the um, uh, steering column as a clock. Uh, put your left hand on t uh, 10 and the right hand on 2. I would not make any sudden movements. I'd look straight ahead. If the police officer wants you to roll down the window, motion to him that you're mo uh, uh, rolling down the window. If a lot of people put their... Uh, uh, Golly. Um, number two, I would keep my hands on the steering column at 10 and 2. This way, the police officer knows and can see that your hands are clearly in plain view. Next, I would roll down the window when asked to. I would motion to him where I was going to roll down the window and when I was going to roll down the window. Secondly, I would reach for my wallet and tell him I'm going to get my wallet and get my license out. Next, I would go to the glove compartment. A lot of people put their registration in the glove compartment. I would say, sir or ma'am, depending on which, I would say I am going to reach in and get my uh, license and registration card out of the glove compartment. And then I will, you know, proceed to com be compliant with everything that the officer asked me to do. If you have people in the car with you, it's very important that they not make any sudden movements. Okay. Um, this day and age with all the violence is happening, it's very important that they know, the police officers, that is, that your passengers are, are, are going to be compliant as well. I would have them look straight ahead, be perfectly still, put your hands on your knees. This way, the officer, whether the passenger is sitting in a back seat or the front seat uh, with you, this way, the officer knows that the passengers are, are uh, not up to any harm to them or anything like that. They know by seeing all the hands that... Uh, your passengers are being compliant. So hopefully this little tips help you. Uh, main thing is you want to be safe and the police officer wants to be safe. Uh, thank you and have a great day. Look forward to, to uh, spending many hours with you guys uh, as, as we journey through Driver's Ed. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel um, and look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Thank you.